Zulfikar helps a stranger. Zulfikar was at a restaurant one day having lunch with his friends. Suddenly, one of the men on the table behind him began to gag. Something was stuck in his throat, but he was unable to dislodge it. He started choking. His friends tried rubbing his back, but nothing worked. By now, he was having difficulty in breathing. No one knew what to do. Zulfikar rushed forward to help. Are you a doctor? asked the man's companions. Zulfikar knew there was no time for all those questions. He pushed them aside and went to help the choking man. He grabbed him from behind and pushed a fist into his chest. Other people thought he was hurting the man and tried to push aside Zulfikar. But he did not stop. He repeated his actions until suddenly the man spat out some food and started breathing normally. Nancy saves a kitten. Nancy was only six years old. She had a pet cat named Bluebell and a kitten named Snowdrop. Snowdrop was very naughty and would often create problems for herself. One day, Nancy heard Snowdrop mewing in the garden. When Nancy went out to find Snowdrop, she saw that she had climbed up a tall tree. Now she was too scared to come down. Nancy was alone at home. She knew she should wait for an adult to help. But she could see that Snowdrop was afraid. Nancy was also afraid of heights. But she felt bad for Snowdrop. She took a deep breath and started climbing up the tree. She felt scared but she knew that she had to do this for Snowdrop. Nancy was able to bring Snowdrop down. She felt very brave because she had not given in to her fear of heights. She was very happy. Erin saves her sister. One day, Erin and her sister Amy were making too much noise while playing inside the house. So their mother asked them to go out and play in the garden. Both the girls played for some time and then they began to feel tired. The weather was very pleasant so they decided to stay outside on the lawn. They didn't realize when they fell asleep. Erin woke up after some time and turned towards Amy. She was shocked to see that there was a snake sleeping right next to her arm. Erin was very afraid. If she made any noise, the snake would attack her. On the other hand, if she did not want Amy, she could hurt the snake by simply moving her arm. Erin saw that Amy was in a deep sleep. She quietly got up and slowly moved behind the snake. Then. Like lightning, she grabbed the snake and threw it away. Benito helps the prisoners. Benito was a young man who wanted to work for the poor. He wanted to help those who had no one. He joined many organizations but never got a feeling of satisfaction. He never felt as if he made a difference. If not him, someone else would help. Then one day, he found out that a security prison was looking for a counsellor. 
many people had turned down this job because it meant staying in the prison full time and helping the prisoners. Benito decided to take up this challenge. When he went to the prison, he was very scared by some of the prisoners. They looked cruel. Benito felt that his help would make a real difference to these people. If he changed their way of life, they could be better people. He faced many taunts from the prisoners. A few even attacked him, but Benito tried to reform them. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.